Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to teach you about karmic draining. So maybe you know what karma is, but let's explain it from a twin flamey point of view, shall we? Karma are those things, and actually, especially those people that happen to you and you will sit there and go, did I really sign on for this? Did I really, did I really plan to have these kids? Did I really plan to marry this person? Why do I keep dating the same person? Why is this job getting toxic? Am I really going to become my mother and get all of the, let's check a box here, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, um, breast cancer, or near misses with that. I don't wish that on anyone. Digestive issues, irritable bowel, reproductive issues, Hashimoto's, and on and on. Okay, so the short answer is you were wise and you chose the exact right people to come into. You took the freight train in here to planet Earth. Woohoo! You were like, I'm on the caboose. I'm going to get there and get her done and get all of my root chakra stuff done, right? Except maybe you forgot how to do it. Maybe you forgot that you have internal connections that need to open up. Maybe you forgot that you and your twin lovingly placed each other inside each other just for this time, just for this purpose. So karma can be a shocking drain and that's karmic drainage. Not only are some people doing the same things and expecting the results to be different, they can't get off that track. They can't get out of that rut. They can't stop the inertia of their life. They cannot like get up over the threshold. That's what I'm here for. That is my gift, okay? To help get you open, elevate you, integrate you, heal you, do the energy work and teach you how to maintain that. Karmic draining is this. It means when there's been an earth shift, okay? And we're shifting the polarities. And in some ways, astronomically speaking, the axis of the earth actually does a little wobble, like boop, 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 okay? But we're feeling it. Don't believe me? Do you see some of the weather patterns? Do you see some of the earth movements like earthquakes? Okay, there are larger things that work here. However, you have a brand new light body that is designed to withstand it and not hold the karma and not hold all of those old things because you can't carry around all the garbage of the past into your brand new life. But how do you do this? How do we go with like flipping and not be pulled down and somehow we keep on going, okay? And we shed off all that stuff. It is through doing twin flame reconnection work, which is what I teach. It's what I do. It's how I do it by being because your session just doesn't start. The minute you're thinking about it, it starts when you take that action and like lock it in and decide that you're going to do this the right way and get going with it. Karmic draining happens when people decide to re-up, okay? It's just like being in the military. You're like, I don't know what else to do with my life. I think I'll sign on for another four-year stint. Wah, 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 wah. Wrong decision. You might not know what to do, but it starts with your brand new light body. That's first and foremost. It has to be about you. Only you can do this. I can teach you. I can integrate you. I can activate you. We've got activations that will absolutely help pop and unplug some of that old karma. So karmic drainage, karmic draining, there should be a drain, right? Well, I teach people how to do that. How do you drain this out of you? You can. There are certain techniques we teach. But the karmic draining part is this. It depletes your energy. It depletes your resources. 
Okay, and pay attention to this. What this means, and I've had this happen with people. I I had I based this on actual experiences, 15 years of experiencing people, and sometimes in their frontal lobe, they think they know better than the actual guidance that they're getting. Things like leave your husband, do it now. Run, don't walk to the nearest exit. Work with Patricia to have a plan, to have a wonderful exit plan that is equitable, that is fair for everyone. But instead, here comes the rationales of the mind. Well, he's not doing well. He's got this. Maybe he's got a mental illness. Not your problem if he's not your twin. There's a way to do it so that this leaves them sort of leveled where they can get what they need and you can move along. That might sound cold, but you're not being your highest and best you. You are not doing your best for yourself, and that's the ripple effect. That may seem selfish to some people. It's certainly not selfless, but it is about the self. You have to make this about the self that you are the true self that you are, that you are a twin flame. This isn't some soulmate thing that, you know, we're doing it for the good of everybody. Those are outdated vows that will also karmically drain you. Okay, so karmic draining means that things start to break down. So here's what happens sometimes. The car breaks down, that's big ticket item. The hot water heater breaks down, that's a big ticket item. Something else, somehow the college fund begins to go. Or it's something, and so instead of building up and creating and having things flow, it starts draining out. Along with it goes health. People can get sick, they can get chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, why? Because this situation is standing on every last nerve. You had like one nerve left and you think you're doing the right thing, but it's not the right thing for you. And that's where the disservice is. Everyone can't be codependent with each other. Not spouses, even children. Children will step on your toes and then they'll step on your hearts. But when they go through separation anxiety, the key word there is not anxiety, it is separation. Energetically, they have to separate from you. If not, you are creating a parasite and that parasite will be a karmic drain on you, okay? They'll drain your resources, they'll bring you to the police department, They'll get in trouble all the time. And you might say, woe is me. They're, I'm doing this like there's a way to do it because you have upper resources that you can tap into, but you can only do it with your brand new light body. You can't do it with the old ways. You can't sit there and do this and use like this much of your frontal lobe. You have to use your high heart energy. What else is a karmic drain? Putting off a divorce. What else is a karmic drain? Putting off a job change. What else is a karmic drain? Maybe, you know, for the moment, not downsizing and finding something more suitable. Trying to juggle everything, trying to keep up appearances. Look, the human side of you can only do so much sometimes. And there, there's something else to know about karma, leaving the land of karma, and being in a level where you can actually transition from here to here. Now, sometimes that is an actual transit, okay? So if we were to use as an example, Mercury retrograde, and it goes back and you review your karma, but then, you know, Mercury sort of stations, that actually can be utilized as a transit for you to move from point A to point B and to get a little closer to where you need to be energetically and where to go. Energetically means you are using your brand new twin flame body using healing by twin flame reconnection to be able to do this, to be able to do it as seamlessly and naturally as possible because these are natural parts of you. They're not some abstract part of you. It might feel like that. And this is the problem with separation and living in a lower vibration. It feels like an unattainable part of you. However, it is still you. And the more that you integrate, in other words, you're bringing it within and you're clicking it here, 
you're clicking it there, you're clicking it to that major organ, you're clicking it to your new grounding chakras, which are in new locations, you're clicking in your new reproductive connections so that you're not getting Hashimoto's or Sjogren's or some other uh, syndrome or illness. Like your higher self wants you to be done with illnesses. Okay. Getting a cold is one thing, getting a few seasonal allergies. But having a chronic illness, that is not really your destiny. That's not what is supposed to be your destiny. What else is a karmic drain? People, people who keep wanting money from you or draining your energy, or you could describe them as energy vampires. Now, if you're, you know, I'm going to say this out there. We have a glaring example and you have to deepen your discernment. It's up to you to realize that recognizing a twin or recognizing the difference between a soulmate that discernment is up to you at some point you have to have those realizations that maybe you're just hanging on to a dead soulmate they're not dead but as far as you're concerned they can't do anything for you they can't enliven you they can't heal you they can't help you they're not coming to you these are hard things to accept but fear not there is the real thing connected to you and that's what we get open that's why this year is so critical and it's so vitally important so that people can move forward so do you want to keep karmic draining yourself okay because you have a choice here this could go on for several more years you could choose that this is not the life that you want to do it in you could find other things to blame or you can take one step in the direction of taking charge and join us have a session have some coaching use my materials and start feeling the difference because it is experiential some of the things that people have experienced lately are like really highly energetic high level experiences they get pulled up into the re what feels like the repair shop where they're getting work being done on them all they did was use our methods of key points for essential oils, breath work, opening, moving certain parts, and essentially getting some energy shifted. That's the main thing I tell people. I'm ready to work with your energy. I know where we're going to shift your energy. If you haven't worked with me, that's how simple I try to make it for you. I have had people bring their family and be like, please don't mention the words twin flame i never do you know what i tell them i say focus on your heart and the sensations you feel they feel it okay and they can feel it start shifting in the moment some of the other things they have uh lately i've had some people where there was a toxic workplace one lady wrote me and literally said something along the lines of ding dong the witch is dead and we don't want to be name calling or blaming but that was a quote she used from a film and you know what that's how it felt to her okay i don't want to invalidate her actual experience of her healing of having an obstacle removed on her behalf of feeling that sense of liberation now look there's a lot of people going around and they're like liberation liberation and you know i get it but true liberation is liberating yourself from being karmically drained from the karma, from the past, from enabling history to repeat itself or clicking that thing right off. Bolt cutters, crack that thing right off. Crack that off your head, off your heart, off your emotional body, off your wings. Get it gone. There's a reason because twin flames are human angelics you have an angelic history you have a cosmic level history and karma cosmic level karma that you may know nothing about but you're going to feel it and it can make you sick if you don't pay attention to how do we get rid of these karmic drains so thanks so much for watching please check the links below for how we can help you check out my website twinflamereconnection.com bye now